Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, yeah, here we go. Twenty six Reva twenty sixteen Project B. Um, yes. Um, now the last uh, project uh, we did a fairly simple task. Um, well, certainly simple in, in theory, which was you know the placing of um, some internal walls, um, but using various tools like the align tool. Um, overlay underlays etc so that we could get the walls lining up where we could you know where we wanted them in a more beneficial place so what we're going to do with this next um, video <coughs> if you excuse me I'll give a bit of a for that moment okay is so we're going to place um, some doors into this project now that in itself is pretty simple um, it's but it would be simple only if we were using doors out of the box. Okay, so what Revit supplies us in a in a normal project. Okay, so really what we want to do is we want to sort of try and locate maybe a nice you know a nice uh, uh, front entry door here, um, some standardised doors for internals, perhaps a sliding door here. And um, a garage rolling door here. Okay, so there's a variety of doors that we need. Okay, so, and if I go to my door command, there we go, doors, I'll just turn my uh, Microsoft Office off. Oh, here we go. <coughs> I think we've already done this in our template, haven't we? Oh, well, this is all good. Alrighty ho. So anyway, this is um, these are M single M single flush. These are the doors that are given to us by Revit, uh, by Autodesk, by default in every project, and uh, it's all coming back to me. We went into um, we were creating a template. We went right. We need to find a few other doors to work with. Okay, so let's expand this. Um, um, tutorial from not just placing these new doors but also perhaps modifying them so that they um, suit our project a bit better. Okay so um, first up we will go to these ones here the single timber frame AUS so these are doors that have been designed um, predominantly for the Australian market um, so here in Australia we use um, seven, so standard heights 2040 millimeters Okay, we've got 720, 820, 920 are pretty common sizes. Um, the 820 dominates, certainly for internal doors. Okay, so let's let's do that. It's a nice simple one first. So um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to grab my 820 door there. So I'm just going to left click it there, and um, okay, uh, guest room. I'm just going to place it about there. Okay, now neat little trick here is that before we've even placed the door, if I tap my space key, okay, I can flip the door from side to side. Okay, so I'm just going to plonk it about there. Okay, I'm just going to go into thin lines, TL. Okay, right here. So now if I click on that door, it gives me a couple of temporary dimensions. Okay, and uh, this one here says the door is about 120 millimeters from the thing, so I might just click on that temporary dim dimension and change that to 100 mil. Okay, so I don't want any wasted space behind here. Okay, DR for door, the co door command. I'm going to do the same. So with the powder room. Now, good thing about doors and windows. Okay, if you look at this one here. Um, below the door where those temporary dimensions are you will see that Revit has placed them equally so that, that's quite quite handy <laughs> okay and some of the process for the laundry okay so those are all 820 doors so if I click on one door go into the um, just the instance properties. I've got um, where the level is, sill height, um, door swing, and head height. So there's a few things there I can change, muck around with. So, but I'll just leave it out of the box for now. 
Okay. Um, the next door we're going to place um, here. So again, DR for door. Let's go down to our menu. What's available? Um, sliding door. So um, ranch slider. Just a double double glass door. So at the moment, this is just a type one. Okay. It's fairly generic. If I could look at the edit type. Okay, it gives me a couple of, you know, this, these are all the type properties for type 1. So I've got a function there. Um, we've got the width, 2150. I'm quite happy with the thickness of the door. Here we go, head height, 2143. That doesn't really uh, mean an awful lot in Australia. So I'm just going to change that right now, 2040. And I'm going to apply it. So now every time that we use a Type 1 door, it's going to have this 2040 head height in there. Okay. Not a huge amount more in there. We're not going to really go into much more detail. So now I can just go OK. And I can place this door somewhere. So I'm just, I'm just going to be fairly basic about this. I'm just going to place that smack bang in the middle. Okay, left click to drop it. Okay, this one here gets a little um, arrow. Okay, show which way, where the door is and which way it's going to open. Okay, and if I click on the door, okay, um, it's telling me this arrow here because it's on the outside. It's telling me that this door has been placed correctly. <coughs> However, um, a little bit bizarre. I, I would almost think that the arrow, this arrow should be on this side. We can look at that in another um, another tutorial. Okay, we're going to leave these spaces here for some windows. Actually, why not? I'm going to place another door in here. Okay, same deal as before. Okay, so we've now got access from our living, so we might do something out here, and we've got access from the dining or this area out here. And remember, we've got this sort of overhead. Um, at the moment, it's cantilevered, but it won't be forever. The upper floor, okay. So it's sitting around here, so that's um, something to think about. Okay, I'm going to place one more door, okay. So um, which is going to be the garage door, okay. So just an overhead rolling door, okay. So left click on that, okay. So this one says that it's a two four three five by one nine eight one. So very very precise measurements. We probably don't need it that precise, so. But we do need to change the size, so let's just go edit type. Um, I'm going to duplicate this. Always keep the um, try and keep your defaults there. Okay. Now this is a double garage, so I'm going to say that this is four eight hundred W for wide by. Oh, let's let's make it a decent size. We'll make it um, two three hundred high. Okay. Let's just imagine we're trying to get high high load fans in there or something. And we go OK. So that's just the name changed. OK. Now we go into our dimen dimensions here. So we need to change our height to 2300. So we'll do that there. And we need to change our width to 4800. Done. OK. A whole bunch of other properties here. Usual story. We're not going to get to not worry about that too much more. And there's a door material. So that's what it's going to look like if it renders out. So I'm just going to go OK, and now I'm going to place that door. Now the roll, that big chunky thing you see, that's the roller mechanism. So we definitely want that on the inside. OK, and that's about 730 millimeter centered. I'm going to accept that. <coughs> OK, and it does actually show the roller mechanism in solid format. A lot of other drawings I've done on AutoCAD, etc. We would normally, you know, we would show that as as an overhead line, as a dash. Okay. Right now, now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the library and we're going to find ourselves a a front entry door. Okay. So if you, if for those of you tuning in, never seen the library, we're about to go there. Okay. So where we need to go? So we go to our main menu up the top here. Okay. So what we're the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to load the door into the project and then we'll use the door command to grab it. So so I'm going to go to my insert tab here. I'm going to go load family. This is going to bring us right into the library. Okay, so here's the Australian library. 
different countries you'll have different libraries okay so there we go there's a doors folder and these are the doors that have been provided by um, Autodesk by default okay so um, I'm sort of looking for a decorative window a decorative door okay so I'm going down here so I've got single decorative one single decorative two um, single panel two three four so there's a very oops so there's a range of different doors but the, yeah, that one's semi-modern so I'll grab that one there okay so single panel one and I just go open okay so all I've done is load that into the um, project now I need to go back to my door command dr there it is single panel if I click on the thing okay again we get this range of sizes that don't really work for us so we'll just pick one of these for now okay we need to go edit type okay duplicate so we're going to go through this process of creating a new door family or a variation of it okay so I want this to be 920 wide so fairly nice big door by 2040 high okay so the 2040 is still standard here go okay okay so I need to change my height parameter there it is there so let's change that to 2040 so what, what I suspect it is is that these um, measurements could be interpretations from imperial families so they might have been drawn up in inches and um, but when you translate it to millimeters we do get variations that's one theory okay now with this one here we have a whole other bunch of other things that we can change so this is all the route this is to do with the decorative style of the door but we're going to leave it as if it was out of the box okay so all we want is the overall width and the overall height to be changed go okay and now I can we might do something like that okay we've got the option of chucking in some side lights here or something to that effect to certainly open it up okay right so we'll just go very very quickly now we're going to go to the first floor plan we're going to chuck in a few more 820 doors okay now with the event of this underlay being on things start getting a little bit confusing because we've got grey and then we've got black and um, yeah, sometimes it can be a bit hard to see what we're supposed to be drawing on so in my properties I'm going to turn this underlay so underlay ground floor I'm just going to turn that off so I'm going to choose none right now I can see sort of my upper floor and you know I can chuck things in so back to my door command dr okay scrolling up um, I'm just going to grab that single that 20 door again okay spacebar to do that um, about there I'm thinking I might put a walk built-in robe or something there um, something like that and possibly something like that okay so this is in all likelihood this is going to be redesigned I'm going to put the floor and I don't want this almighty void here okay I only want you know bare minimum I want the smallest void I can possibly have okay so now if I just jump into 3d very quickly okay there we go right so there's that external door that we um, plonked in and here are our two external doors Okay, really can't see an awful lot else, even if we flip it upside down. Well, there you go, upside down. We can see the bottoms of them. Okay, if you do it, go upside down, we can actually see that the building is currently sitting in the dirt. Okay, but that is a design, and that is design intent. You know, the, the proposal for this site is probably some sort of cut or scrape. Okay, to accommodate, you know, the, a single floor level down the bottom. Right here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to call it quits there okay um, the next video we will do be a very similar video where we um, add um, we'll do some windows okay and then after that we'll start looking at some other um, more finishing touches okay see you guys later